Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. If you are looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. My name is Sarah. And tonight, it's time to roll out the turkey recipes because November has started and Thanksgiving is on its way. Tonight, I am going to be making turkey noodle casserole and it's going to be completely ketogenic. So come along with me and let's get started. Every year I try and make a couple of recipes within the month of November helping people utilize leftover turkey from the holiday. Now you don't have to have turkey for this recipe. You can use any kind of already cooked meat that you have on hand. But because it is November and I like to do a leftovers turkey recipe, I am using turkey for this recipe. I have about three cups of already cooked turkey. Mine is all dark meat because I used turkey leg and turkey thigh. They are having a bit more turkey in our grocery store now besides just the large turkeys because it is the season here in the United States for turkey. So I was able to find thighs and legs at my grocery store. They were frozen, but they were readily available and the cost is quite good. So you are going to need about three cups of already cooked turkey that you have chopped up. The second thing that you are going to need for this casserole is something to replicate the noodles in a ketogenic way. I have used zucchini in the past, that works well. You could use shirataki noodles if you preferred something like that. Tonight, I am using a spaghetti squash. So I have roasted my squash and I have already made it into strands. And I have about three cups of cooked spaghetti squash. So for tonight's casserole, you are going to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. The first thing that I am going to do is I am going to start sauteing our onion and our mushrooms. So I am going to be putting in eight ounces of sliced white mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms that you would like. And I have just a little bit of butter in my pan, about a tablespoon. To the mushrooms, I'm going to be adding uh, about a quarter of a cup of chopped white onion. And we are just going to let those saute and soften. Okay, so we are going to be forming a sauce for our turkey noodle casserole. You're going to need a medium-sized saucepan, and inside the saucepan you need to start with three tablespoons of butter. Mine has already melted. I am now going to add two cups of heavy cream. So we are just going to let this come up to a low simmer. We are basically making a simple cheesy bechamel sauce. Sometimes turkey noodle casseroles in the past have been made with condensed soups and while that is extremely convenient it is not ketogenic. So I am creating a sauce to help hold together our turkey casserole ingredients in a more ketogenic way. So we are just going to let these two ingredients warm to temperature, and then I will be adding a few more things. To our warming sauce, I want to start adding some herbs and spices. The first thing I am going to be adding is about two teaspoons of poultry seasoning. I like poultry seasoning when I am making any kind of turkey dish. Next, I'm going to add just a dash of curry powder, just a small amount. 
it's going to give our casserole just that little bit of something that you can't quite put your finger on, but is so savory and tasty. I also enjoy cooking with fresh herbs. I feel like it takes a very simple de uh, very simple dish to the next level. So I have about two teaspoons of fresh thyme and about two teaspoons of fresh chopped sage. Both of them are very turkey um, loving herbs. And I just buy mine in the little bubble packs in the grocery store. And they do last for quite a while in the refrigerator. And I've just chopped them up. So I'm just going to stir everything in. I'm now going to turn the heat off because I'm going to add the final ingredient to our sauce and we don't need the heat anymore. So the last thing for our sauce is about five ounces of grated cheese. I'm using Monterey Jack. You can use any kind of cheese that you would like and I'm just going to put that in. I'm just going to keep stirring with my whisk and this is going to pull together to form our sauce. So you want to continue stirring as the cheese is melting. This helps everything get well combined and prevents any graininess in your cheesy bechamel sauce. And you can see that that has really thickened up our sauce beautifully. Okay, so our creamy sauce is completed. And we are just going to start assembling our casserole in the bottom of our casserole dish. So I have my casserole dish. It is a nine by 13 inch. And we are going to go ahead and start assembling everything that we have already made ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and put my spaghetti squash in. We have our chopped cooked turkey. We have our sauteed mushroom and onion. And I'm going to go ahead and stir up those things a little bit before we add our sauce in. Just to kind of pre-combine everything and make sure that it is even across the casserole dish. And you can see that our spaghetti squash has made little noodles, which is what I was going for. It's a lot like spaghetti, as the name implies, but it is really easy to find and usually inexpensive, especially at this time of year because we are in autumn here in the US. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pour my sauce over and we will go ahead and combine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stir again. everything well combined and I'm just going to flatten it out into an even layer. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of the remaining cheese on top. I put five ounces into our sauce and this is the remaining from the eight ounces which is two cups. So I'm just going to sprinkle some on the top. So this is going to go into our oven. Remember it's 375 degrees and this is only going to take about 25 to 30 minutes because everything is already cooked. So we're basically just warming it through and browning the top a bit. I'm ready to take it out of the oven. There it is, golden and bubbly. So with all casseroles, I recommend that you let it sit here for a good 15 minutes before you dig in. Here it is, the Keto Turkey Noodle Casserole. 
And CJ put a little bit of our homemade cranberry sauce on top. Hi. Hi. It's time to get your turkey on. Great. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I can tell. I'm really excited. Yes, that's your excited face. Yes. <laughs> I can barely stand it. All right. Well, it's all the Thanksgiving flavors in one easy casserole. Good job, Amy. Thanks. And I really do like it with the cranberry sauce. Okay. Um, but it's a good option for people after Thanksgiving. It's a good option for people during Thanksgiving, depending on how big their, you know. Their family is, yeah. Their family is. You right. maybe don't want a whole turkey. Yeah. So anyway, it's really good. Thanks for doing this. Uh, I hope people appreciate all the recipes you put pull together. Thank to you. Help. Thanks. Bye.